find your way back home. Guys, what is up? Max on Boardland Street video, and today we are going over updated fire hose mods. We're finally doing it, updating it to level 72. Fire hose mods is my most popular mods build of all time, and with the level cap increase, there's so many ways to play mods. Uh, she just has so much damage that you can really just kind of do whatever you want and get away with it. I have now timed a ton of true takedowns and Today, I'm showing you the build that has given me the fastest times on the takedowns. Not only that, but it's also very versatile in the gear. Whether you're coming in with god rolls or you're coming in with average gear, this build will work for you, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, guys, let's get right into it. So for the fun in this video, we're going to go over the guns and gear first, and then we'll get into the skill tree, and there should be a little bar at the bottom so you can get to the part of the video that you want to watch. Now... What is Firehose Mose? Firehose Mose is a build that utilizes never reloading with splash damage weapons paired with the Blastmaster to get up to 100% splash damage while dishing out as much damage as we can and maintaining some solid survivability. Now, this build isn't getting anything like too crazy. Honestly, like nothing too crazy is changing with the change in annoyance. I tried out like the Iron Cub 150 weapon damage. The best anoint for this build is still going to be consecutive hits, even though consecutive hits is nerfed. It's super easy to stack up. It's super easy to maintain. And it's just weapon damage, which we need on this build, even though next two mags is really, really great and you can maintain it. We're going to benefit more from our bonus weapon damage because we don't have a lot versus extra elemental damage, which we're already getting plenty from our skill tree and our gear. Next up, the Blastmaster. Now, something that you may not know about the Blastmaster is it takes 50 seconds to fully charge up to 100% splash damage. So not reloading is very important to us and that's gonna reflect in our skill tree. Next up, we're still using the Action Skill Start Revolter, but we're gonna be taking a little bit better use of it with this build. This Revolter or the Revolter gives you 200 extra shock damage when it depletes and 50% fire rate. It is almost too good to not pass up. The other shield, because there are shield options if you would like to use them, is using something like an Old God. Even though the Revolter is amazing, uh, this Anoint with the Old God, uh, after exiting Iron Bear, kills increase Iron Bear's cooldown rate by 30% is low-key amazing because it stacks. And you can, if you're killing things quickly, stack this over 100, over 200, over 300%. I think the maximum I've ever gotten to is like 750% cooldown. Um, so if you want to spam iron bear uh and use like an old god for a little bit more consistent damage that is definitely an option i prefer using cub and having it kill itself and spamming the action skill start revolter it's a little bit more my style but like i said this build is very versatile uh we are still using a cloning mining tracker now i used a on level one and a non on level one both work really well honestly the non level one like the level 13 one still kills me um, so it is quality of life to get a lower level one, but even the lower level one can still kill you. Cloning Mining Tracker is the best grenade here. The other options that you can use if you do not have a CMT Cloning Mining Tracker is a Hex um, or an Epicenter. Both work really, really well. Or a Mesmer. A Mesmer actually works amazing with this build. Uh, you can throw it and the enemies will confuse themselves and then you can just sprint into the pack and you'll actually get a ton of health regen that way. So Mesmer, CMT, Hex, or Epicenter with the CMT being my personal favorite. The reason this is so good is because it hits enemies 21 times, this combination. And when it hits enemy 21 times, you're going to benefit like crazy from your skill Vampire, where per each hit of your grenade, you're going to get 16% of your health back. Uh, the regen on that is really, really crazy, and that's why everyone uses the CMT if you're confused about that. Um, in terms of guns, the flipper is the best weapon for this build. Uh, just straight up, it's so good. There are a ton of options. You can use the Free Radical. I've been loving the Needle Gun, the Venomous Hornet. The Hornet, trust me on this one, it's actually really good. The Hornet is really, really strong with this build. The Kevsworth is the OG Firehose Mose weapon, still just as strong as ever. 
um for like really packed mobbing situations like true guardian takedown i like pulling out consecutive hits plague bears um consecutive hits plague bears were do a ridiculous amount of damage and for bossing you are going to want to use kick chargers now at the top of the of the screen right now we'll be linking to a how to boss on mo's breakdown that specifies how to not lose short fuse how to count short fuse um how to best use it because this is the probably most powerful skill in the entire game uh it is absolutely insane and you can one shot every enemy with it but it is super easy to lose short fuse and not know if it's going to proc or not uh with the guide that's it'll be in the description of the pinned comment as well uh, i break down exactly how to understand short fuse and for the bossing of this build you can really quick put on a toboggan a flare uh change your iron cub to have fists uh so iron cub with fists and uh you're good uh a flare a toboggan and uh a little kick charger you slide and you shoot after you activate and throw your grenade uh that is how i did all those kills once again uh this might be like a little bit of a lot of information but uh that guide covers everything proc your flare pull out your rocket launcher tap it's like i mean you could use an ion cannon you don't even use need the toboggan you will be hitting for billions and billions and billions of damage um with like Moe's back when we were testing this before the short fuse changes Moe's was hitting for like trillions of damage so like you will not struggle to one shot things um the kick charger is insane it is a power craft ion cannon if you slide and charge it you're going to get times four its base card damage uh you'll be hitting for millions of damage and the short fuse proc alone will easily break a billion damage um so the like one shot potential on literally anything is kind of ridiculous on this build it's genuinely just kind of overkill at this point it's like it's almost overkill uh the amount of damage that we do but damage equals good yes very fun one last thing uh if you have a perfect company man i love using the malon company man uh giving myself because it could roll with extra mag size uh, i have a pretty perfect one here the malon company man with the flipper is so pretty uh so so good but if you do not have a god rolled malon company man i still love using the pearl the pearl is so versatile and because once again we're doing all these elemental damage from the revolter from our like shock or corrosive flipper or cryo or radiation plus all of the fire damage from short fuse and fire in the skag den um and big surplus that we'll get into in a second uh getting that extra gun damage is even more important um so pearl is also really nice and with that guys let's get into the skill tree so green tree first and we're going to green tree first because that is where the new points are basically the seven points are kind of dumped uh pretty much in green tree the big pickup for us is forge we never got forge before i was kind of struggling if i wanted to go forge or if i wanted to go fired up this fire rate is really nice and leads to higher dps and with my flipper it was amazing but I was reloading on my flipper, uh, which kind of uh, irritated me. And there was a lot of other weapons that I just couldn't use. So for quality of life, we're going Forge. Uh, we're going Iron Bank instead of Match Set, because Match Set just like makes me annoyed if I don't have four out of four. Um, Iron Bank is really good. Specialist Bear, because if you want to just one shot thing with Iron Bear, uh, if you have like a Bear Anoint or just like Lily hop into Bear, it will destroy everything. And you're going to have Bear up a lot because of our blue tree. Uh, if you want to use it next up big quality of life change we're going five out of five into scrappy i was typically one out of five into scrappy having this weapon damage handling and the swap speed the mode swap speed when we're using mallow on weapons like the kibsworth and the flipper so you can just like insta swap between the modes for like shock and corrosive for wotan is so so nice plus it is a ton of weapon damage 30 percent weapon damage is great on mose um some for the road forge this is our green tree purple tree big surplus this gets mayhem scaling we are killing our iron cub iron cub is going to be dying uh because we're going to be using the grenade launcher on it with the iron cub it'll blow itself up immediately give us this scaled skag den it's skag den plus on on everything not just like splash weapons and we're using two of them for even more damage uh the biggest focus in our green tree uh, has been shifted or sorry in our blue tree has been shifted to upkeep of our revolter we have 15 seconds to get our revolter back five out of five into grizzled two out of five into explosive punctuation to get cooldown rate and straight up reduction 
uh, and giving this our, our iron cub uh, to return to us so we can proc it and then keep up our revolter. Now, you do not need the revolter to, um, to like, use action skill start. You don't need that. Like, it'll proc when it goes down. And it works well on Moe's because Moe's has no shield skills that we're using on this build. Nothing's going to be regening our shield. So it going down and doing it naturally is great. But of, of the things I've tried, it's just hard for me to get away from the Revolter. I tried the Super Soldier. It doesn't really make any sense because it only works while full. And we're not keeping our shield full on a Bloodletter build. That makes like a bazillion times more sense. Uh, the Wish is just going to kill us. So the Revolter with our as much cooldown as we can get so that we can constantly keep it up and keep up that 50% fire rate and 200% shock damage. And lastly, Drowning in Brass, Experimental Munitions, and Armored Infantry. Uh, amazing mobbing skill, Drowning in Brass. Experimental Munitions, really just not necessary. Honestly, it's 15% bonus incendiary damage when we have uh, like 900% incendiary damage from these two skills. Uh, so, like, if you want to take this point and you want to spec it into DACA, if you want to spec it into Biofuel, uh, maybe Auto Bear, it's totally up to you. I just spec it because people like seeing the damage skills and we spec it, so make Brain happy. Um, and yeah, guys, that is it for the build. Fire Hose Mose. You literally just run around, throw grenades, and shred everything. It does too much damage, and there's so much room for this build for just, like, any kind of weapon or gear that you want to run. It's set up so that if you want to kill things with Iron Bear, you can. If you want to keep Cub up and do some Cub things, uh, you can. But it is primarily for action skill start spam with the Revolter. Uh, I will have a flame build up uh, that uses a little uh, shield tricks with the flame. Uh, but I wanted to keep Fire Hose Mose with the Blastmaster class mod because it is just so, so good. Guys, I will catch you on the next one. The build will be in the Discord. Take care. Peace.